Can any one of you watching the video smash their mobile phone on the floor? Well, the answer is no, I know. But what if I say your mobile phone will bounce back to your hand like a ball? Will you still be able to resist yourself not to throw it in the floor? Definitely not. It would be a game for you then, like a basketball. This situation is same as you are sitting in a chair and you suddenly fall on the floor. It will definitely hurt you. But what if you bounce back to the chair itself? Wouldn't it be interesting if such a material be used in constructing big buildings and bridges? Earthquakes and plane hijacks won't be able to collapse big buildings. Heavy trucks won't be able to fail the bridges. Millions of lives will be saved then. Yes, we get the victory. But how to continue this bouncing process forever? Well, my research aims to achieve that. Before understanding how it can be done, we'll just see the background. When stress is applied in the material, that is bulk metallic glass, a cluster of atoms move together to form a shear band. Well, to understand the situation, we can all go back to our school days. During our lunch time, we all must be scattered everywhere in the classroom, like the atoms in bulk metallic glass. Now, after our lunch, we decided to play tug of war game. We all will divide ourselves into two groups. One is here and one is there. Now, if stress is succeeded by this group, this whole group of children will fall in a line to the other end and this line will be called shear band. If shear band moves from one end of the material to the other end, catastrophic failure takes place and thus we have to lose that bouncing process. But if somehow I introduce an obstacle or a barrier in front of the losing party, this party will not easily move to the other end and hence this process will go to the victory. So in my research, I have introduced the second phase or the obstacle by heating the material till a certain temperature such that I can get the melt. Now I cooled it slowly so that the second phase can be introduced, hold it for some time and then just cool it rapidly. By that way, second phase will be generated and this will hinder the propagation of shear band. The situation is same as you must have seen zipper. This can easily move from one end to the other end. But if one link in the chain damages, you will not be easily moved this to the other end. So, so yes, shear band is stopped, catastrophic failure is stopped, and this bouncing process will live forever. So now, not only we are a step closer to construct big buildings and bridges, but we have a material that promises us to keep us and our loved ones safe at homes and while driving. Thank you.